What is good guys, back with game 2 between Insult and Block for ulti playoffs. So looking at this, he brought the P2 team, this is an RMT. It's like max defense scissor with um, U2 and bullet punch roost, I think curse or SD. Then a knockoff Z fly hurricane, um, defog tornadoes with superpower, rocks, softball, seismic toss, healing with chance, he scarf ditto, bandit zyga with, um, with E speed, thousand arrows. Outrage and Iron Tail and then mixed defensive packs, more so fist death with skull, toxic spikes, haze and recover. And Insta brings a really cool team with most likely Defog Rotom to support Mega Pinsa. Pinza the threat in this match, especially if the scissor gets trapped by the Magnezone. Magnezone has to be choice scarf in my opinion on Insult's side, um, because otherwise he's really weak to Kartana. Then the Z move could maybe be on the Reuniclus, I'm not 100 percent sure about that. The guard is gonna be the rocker. And turn 1 he reveals to be T wave as I assume we're just gonna see T spikes go up. I mean Pax can take Rotom's vote switch quite easily. Um, so Black's probably just gonna stay in here as uh, Insult goes hard into Reuniclus. Um, the reason why you go hard into Reuniclus is because he doesn't have Will O Wisp on his Rotom since he's T wave. He's probably T wave, Volt switch, um, Hydro Pump, and Defog. So Black could have gone hard into Zygarde there, predicting the Volt switch. That's why Insult doubled out. And now he doubles back to probably Defog the T spike away. Um, predicting the um, scissor co to come out or something like that. Tornadoes also, um, like Rotom also covered the tornadoes. Now you can just Volt Switch on a chance here. I assume Black is gonna get the rocks up. Uh, Pinsir could come out here, exactly, because Pinsir is a good breaker versus his team. And Pinsir can just Mega Wolf and click uh, Frustration slash Return, same thing. And Black might just have to go into his scissor because uh, the Pex is paralyzed. So if he goes Pex, the Pex will. Um, eventually get paralyzed if the pincer keeps attacking and then it will go down and he definitely wants the packs to potentially set the t-spikes back up because the t-spikes affect um, the chomp, the bulu and the rotom um, if pincer mega evolves the t-spikes don't affect it anymore but it still affects half the team I really because obviously has magic guard and doesn't care about the t-spikes but yeah it's just gonna mega in frustration um, it's gonna be able to twit kill chance if he stays in here and he only has seismic toss to hit the pincer so he's not gonna stay in here um, I feel like he has to go, I mean Torn can live one, but this is an offensive Torn, but either minus def or minus per def, I don't remember the nature. So Torn is definitely not a great switch in, and might actually be good, and will probably get blown away by frustration in the quick attack, and even if it can barely live the combination of those two, I think um, Scissor might be the play here. So if Insta wants to um, make an aggressive play, he can double into Magnezone, breaking the um, Scissor to come out, but he doesn't have to make that play, he can also just Mega Evolve and fire the frustration as it will weaken the um, incoming scissor, which was pretty obvious that it was going to come out because I think it's max defense curse, like I said. So Black is going to be able to Mega Wolf and Roost here, I think. Uh, he could also U-turn if he wants to break the Magnezone to come out. But Insult has that Magnezone in the back, so he doesn't even have to predict. Like, he can just keep spamming Return because um, Black kind of has to click U-turn at one point to break the Magnezone. And Insult is super free to just spam Frustration and, you, like... Like I said, he's not gonna click Bullet Punch, like, he's either gonna Roost or U-Turn, so spamming Frustration is super fine for Insult, as that does nothing after Scissor Mega Evolves, damn, Pins are kinda weak right there, but yeah, you can just keep clicking it, um, cause like I said, Black is either gonna Roost or eventually U-Turn, like, he's not gonna Bullet Punch into a potential Magnezone, so Insult is super free to just keep, like, he can just keep making this play because of the scary Magnezone he has in the back, and there is the U-Turn that was eventually gonna come out, so Tornadoes can obviously threaten out the Pinsir here, Insult is gonna go into either Rotom or Reuniclus as he doubles into Zygarde anticipating the Rotom to come out. If the Reuniclus was Z-move, um, I don't know if it revealed the item already, but if it's Z-move Reuniclus then he could have gone to that which would have covered the Zygarde doubled and would have also covered the Torn going for knockoff. Uh, so he goes in the Bulu there breaking the Thousand Arrows that's confirmed bandit damage. Um, I assume this is just a bulky Spadef Bulu with Protect. Um, Horn Leech and Superpower. The last move is either SD or Bulk Up. Uh, on this team, it's most likely Bulk Up because otherwise, Coil Zygarde destroys Insult's team. Um, so, Black has to switch out here. Um, Insult can just go for Horn Leech to get some health back. He could also pull a double into Rotom, um, which would cover the Torn and the Scissor because either Torn or Scissor is gonna come out. But he does just Horn Leech, gives him a lot of health back, and it's a fine play. Uh, because having this healthy is good to switch into Thousand Arrows. Uh, he has to be a bit careful though because the um, Zygarde also has Iron Tail. So he, he's either gonna go for Protect or he's gonna switch out. Goes in a Guard Um Let's see what item this Guard Trump is as he goes for a knockoff and knocks off a Rocky Helmet. So now um, Insta is probably gonna just go for Dragon Tail. 
uh, because from this range dragon tail will either kill the taunt or bring the taunt super low and i'm pretty sure since this is a tank jump most likely max hp um it can most likely live any one hit like even the sky strike i'm pretty sure it can live one because guard jump has good natural bulk and it is most likely max hp so even if bar goes for sky strike i think chomp will be able to live it um, but what I was gonna calc is um, Pinsir versus Tornadus, right? And yeah, Return would have done 91 to 107 to Tornadus, so that was obviously not a switch in. Um, so let's just go for Sky Strike, and Garchomp was able to live that, go for Dragon Tail, and kill the Tornadus. So that's good for Insult. That's the Mon that outspeeds Pinsir out of the way. The only other Mon that outspeeds Pinsir is the Ditto. And if Ditto um, has happiness and it's Frustration Pinsir, right? So Frustration will do nothing back to Pinsir. So that's really great. So like the only thing that Ditto can do to other Pinsir is like quick attack. So now you go Zygarde, um, which should outspeed Tank Chomp. Yeah, I think. I'm not 100% sure. And even if it doesn't outspeed Tank Chomp, uh, Reuniclus is able to come in and it reveals to be a leftover Reuniclus. And now you can just go for Recover. Also, he went Reuniclus there because it covered the Zygarde going for Iron Tail. Um, Black go um, Thousand Everything there is a fine play because Insult has to go for Recover. And it also is a potential play to fish for crit. And now Insel goes in the, uh, his Budo, he doesn't want to risk getting crit there. Um, he can either make a double into Magnezone here, or he can just Horn Leech. Scissor comes out. Um, I mean, just Horn Leeching was a completely fine play, because you want that health back on Bulu. And now he's going to switch. Uh, he might just sack off the Garchomp, exactly. And he's most likely going to U-turn here, exactly. Because he doesn't want the Magnezone to come out on a Roost and get bopped by HP Fire. So now the um, Bulu comes back out, he can just click Protect here to Scout um, in case Black wants to go for Iron Tail. Uh, so Protect is definitely the play here for Insult. And I mean Black can technically switch into Scissor on a Protect, but he always has to fear that Magnezone on the back. Uh, I don't think Insult wants to pull a double here though, yeah I think he just wants to Protect to Scout. If he does go for Iron Tail, and now Insult can go into maybe the Rotom Wash. Because um, the Rotom covers the Pinsir, the Scissor coming out, and the Rotom also covers the Zygarde staying in and going for Iron Tail. As he goes in the Ditto, um, turns into... Oh, he goes in the Magnezone there. Oh yeah, Magnezone was also a good play because it covered the Scissor and would have trapped it. And it would have also lifted the Iron Tail from the, from the Zygarde. So either doubling into Rotom or doubling into Magnezone, both were really good plays for Insult. Um, and this works out well for him. Uh, so Black, I mean Black can potentially go for superpower and live a flash can. Um, so Insult predicts that really well and goes into Reuniclus. Now he can either go for softball, uh, recover with the Reuniclus or he can pull a double switch. Um, I think I would have personally gone for recover as he pulls a double into Magnezone predicting the scissor and now he can just volt switch or... Yeah, you probably just want to volt switch because you don't want to be in with the Magnezone locked into volt switch. Uh, I mean locked into HP Fire or T-Bolt, my bad. Um, because then chance he could... Like potential... Zygarde can come in for free, and Zygarde is kind of the biggest threat that Blark has. And now you can have Bulu in, you will get Leftovers plus Terrain, which cancels out rocks, which is amazing for him. And yeah, um, Pex comes out, and Pex is either gonna get T-Specs back up or try to get a burn. And I think Insult can probably go Reuniclus or Rotom here. Um, Reuniclus would get some health back. As he uh, doubles into Zygarde predicting the Rotom, I think I would've... That's why I wanted to potentially, um, if I was Insult, like, double was great. To trap it the, now he has to sack to this pretty much because he cannot um, risk going blue and getting crit or getting iron tailed and now he's free to click either Hornleech or pull a double here or goes for bulk up yeah pretty obvious that he had to be bulk up on this team because Coil Zygarde otherwise destroys him now he can Hornleech here or he can um, switch out into either Reuniclus or Rotom because he doesn't want to risk it as he doesn't want to risk it now he's just gonna defog um, there's no point Volt switching into the Zygarde, Blunt knows that the Zygarde vaults the Rotom since it doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. And now um, he's just gonna click Thousand Arrows again. Well, he can potentially Iron Tail. I don't think Insel wants to risk going hard into Bulu on, on Iron Tail. <laughs> Maybe he can go Pinsir here. I don't know. Does he need the Rotom for anything? I mean the Rotom is cool because it defox. Oh, it's fast water! It's fast water Z Rotom, that's so cool. And the Iron Tails there trying to predict the Bulu. Yeah, like I said, he doesn't want to go Bulu there. Like I was gonna say, maybe he wants to go hard pincer. Um, because that could live, I think, Arrows or Iron Tail. And or he could stay in and try to sack this. Like he doesn't want to go hard Bulu and risk getting Iron Tailed. And he's fast Rotom with Water Z, which makes sense. Uh, because it outspeeds Heatran, probably outspeeds Mimikyu and can T-Wave it. 
before it can attack. And that's be Zygarde and can hit it with a lot of damage with Water Z because this team is a little bit weak to Bandit Zygarde as you guys could see. Um, if Zygarde crits Reuniclus, because I don't think Reuniclus is asset armor on this team since he doesn't have T-Spike support. Now goes into Pinsanonia, they can live any hit and go for Frustration. And Blark probably wants to keep the Zygarde because the Zygarde is like really nice for him to have. So he might just throw out the Chansey or the Pex here. And yeah, Reuniclus is also really good for insult because I assume it's Combine, Recover, Psyshock and then another coverage move. Since he doesn't have T-Spike support, the Reuniclus has to have some coverage move. Like either energy ball, focus blast, or something like that to hit dark types. Um, because yeah, he, like I said, he doesn't have T spike support. Now um, Black is either gonna recover or scald here. Uh, Insul is just gonna click earthquake here because it does more than frustration to Pex. But yeah, as you guys can see, this Pex has fist dev investment. It can live a frustration. Earthquake gets a low roll there. Gets a para. Uh, I don't think the para matters too much. I like. Even if he recovered or scored there, I guess if he scored it and it killed, or if he got the burner, would have been good for Blark. But Intel doesn't need the pins to win. As long as he doesn't get hexed, I think Reuniclus wins this game. Well, actually, he has to be kind of careful because if he sets up too much with Reuniclus and gets copied by the Ditto, that could be annoying. But I think he's still fine. So Chansey comes out here knowing that it can live a hidden size and he toss the pins there. And obviously, Re um, Reuniclus can live two seismic toss and I think it might also outspeed oh it doesn't outspeed but it could live too okay my bad but yeah now we can just call mine up here and um, because obviously Chansey cannot do anything to Runicus magic guard prevents Runicus from taking um, damage from the toxic and you can just call mine and then you can um, recover and yeah what was I gonna say um, since the Runicus is Leftovers and we revealed that early in the game and the blue was also leftovers. Uh, I guess it was kind of obvious that the Rotom had to be the Z-move user because the Magnezone was obvious. It has to be Choice Scarf on this team and Garchomp already revealed Rocky Helmet and he didn't have another Z-move user. So Z-move user was either the Rotom or he didn't have one. But yeah, it's really cool fast Water Z um, because it can also check Heatran. Like, having multiple Heatran checks is really important in this metagame. Heatran is a stupid scary threat. And then he obviously has Spadef Budo to check uh, Alakazam, he has Quick Attack on Pinsa, do he, um, which cannot speed and do a lot to Alakazam, and this Reunix if it sets up also beats Alakazam, so he has like multiple checks for it. Uh, this team is also like, it has some weaknesses for sure, but in this matchup it was pretty good. And I mean the Hex on the Pex was obviously nice, but I don't think Skull would have killed the Pinsa because Pex is super weak. Uh, but I'm gonna pull up this uh, Kalk real quick as he now kills it with Psyshock and he's gonna have... If Ditto kills this, he can go Ditto, but he goes Zygarde instead. Okay, so he's gonna click Thousand Arrows. I don't think Intel wants to stay in. I think he just sacks the Rotom here. Well, actually, if he sacks Rotom, then Pinsa dies to Rocks. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I guess he can just click... No, no, I think he just attacks. Yeah, yeah. He just attacks. My, my fault. My bad, guys. He just attacks here. He just clicks Psyshock. Because if you recover, then you risk getting crit like the next turn. Now you just hard attack because there's only this one turn he can potentially crit you. So you just go for Psyshock here. There's no reason to switch out my fault for a second there. Miss, uh, yeah, yeah. And then, um, because if you kill the Zygarde and you don't get crit here, then he only has a Ditto left and the Ditto is Scarf, which means it has to lock into a move. And he even goes for Iron Tail. Yeah, yeah. At this point, he was screwed because if he went for Arrows, uh, the Bulu would have came out afterwards. Mm -hmm. So he does get a drop there as Insult now goes for Psyshock. I think he could have hard Psyshocked as well. I don't think he needed to um, recover on the Iron Tail, but I guess it was to scout what Zagar wants to lock itself into. So now Blark uh, has to lock into Psyshock, and obviously that will pick off the reunion with the defense drop. And now Insult can just um, go on a Rotom, defog the rocks away. Um, Blark's gonna Psyshock and kill the Rotom, obviously, as Rotom still outspeeds that because Reunix is really slow, even with a Scarf. And now we can just go Pinsir, and this frustration will do a lot because Ditto has a low HP stat, it actually just killed it, and Insult wins 2 0 versus Blark. Even if that didn't kill the Reuniclus for some reason, um, it would have brought it in range um, to the point where Horn Leech from Bulu would have killed it. But yeah, Pex Skull would have actually done 21 to 25 to Pinsir, so it was unlikely to kill the Pinsir. So even if he got Parrot there, like if he recovered, he would have eventually gotten Parrot if Pinsir kept attacking it. And also the other cult that I was gonna show you guys is, um, I forgot, let me pause it real quick. Yeah, the Reunic is obviously covered, it copied, I mean copied, not covered, it copied the fence drop, so that's why plus one frustration destroyed it, otherwise it would not have killed. But yeah, with that defense drop, um, returned at 102% minimum, 
um, and otherwise I would have done 68 to 80. Hope you guys all enjoyed the series. I'm obviously happy my man Insul was able to come out victorious. I think that's how you say it, right? Uh, stay tuned for more content. Smog on Snake Draft. Coverage. OT coverage. And yeah, I will have some guest uploads coming up um, for Yu Yu, um, NU, and Little Cup. I still need someone to help me with RU though, so I'll see. And I technically also need someone to help me with Ubers. So like. I guess I'll just keep asking some people and maybe I'll find someone for RU and for Ubers because that would be cool for um, Slam. Grand Slam playoffs are coming up. I want to record some of the series but it's going to be rough because it's best of five. And I don't know any of those tiers. And finding like multiple people for every tier to narrate that for me, uh, it's going to be rough. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the series. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.